Welcome to Trucking with Fitz. Today we're just running one load. We start a little late this morning. Got the chance to go in and you see that? Uh, uh, and vote. And um, we're going to go to Kirksville, uh, Missouri. <laughs> and uh, that's all we're going to do. Got a Spencer, Spencer for tomorrow. But uh, yeah, comment down below and uh, enjoy the video. Anybody want to watch? TMC do the ELD crawl in the morning. There he goes. Gotta love it. All right, guys. We're here. It is the morning of June the 4th. And uh, we ended up waiting even longer to get a load, but not because of them, because today was a voting day. Where's my stick? You want, you want to see my... Oh, you can't see my sticker. Here, I'll let you see my sticker. You got my, my sticker? I voted. It was much easier just to do it at 7 this morning. So it's 7.30 right now. Uh, this is a pretty good load. Loaded pretty well. Um... I don't know why the PVC stacked so weird, but this is the way they all are. I don't think they're going anywhere. It's the way they intended it. it just looks funky to me. <coughs> um, looks like a pretty good load here. I'm just making sure everything has something holding it down. Looks like that rebar is shorter than the the um, LVL, so that's good. So the LVL has downward pressure. That's good. If I need to, I think I can stick a strap right here, two incher, just to hold that. But I don't think I need it. This one was done pretty well. They're getting better. Get this stuff, uh, get the stuff done, connected and tightened down, and all that jazz. We're hooked on. We're gonna go. Wow, oh, I don't know why TMC parked right there to walk into the office. That didn't seem like the best option, but all right. He getting his steps in. More power to him. All right. Uh, will it be heavy? I don't know. They've been doing a little better. Weight-wise. Looks like he's in a good mood. They got him unloaded really quick, so he should be. What do we got? The drives were good. Trailer's good. Yeah, this is not this isn't bad at all. Lower 70s. Yeah, 73, 640. Okay. I can deal with that. There's always a DOT officer right at the border of Missouri. Iowa. Iowa do two officer. At least there have been the last couple times I've been. And so I don't really want to be pushing anything. I'm not in that type of mood ever. So let's go in and get our paperwork and get this day started. You guys want to come through Gilman with me? The uh, detour way? I don't know if I've taken you this way or not. Maybe I have. Maybe you haven't. It don't matter. We're going to do it now. Got to get on down to 30 miles per hour. Less than that because we're going to turn right up here at this gas station. We got to go around our detour again. Down through Linville. Because I'm sure our 
Searsboro route is still closed. All it takes to get over to our other two lane is quick right hand turn here and then turn left and you're on the road. Tour. Tanker. Woo, it smells bad right there. Not like propane. Strong. <coughs> that was powerful. That's not good. Get out of there before something blows up. T38 is our road. Make sure we don't have any red flashing lights here. And then hammer down. This takes us right down to six, where we dog leg and then head down to Limbo. We made it down here to Linville. It's a pretty little town, it really is. Trees down because of the flooding, for sure. Loop up here to the right. Don't need the Jake brakes anymore. This turn is not very pleasant. I have absolutely no idea if um, there's somebody coming from the right. No idea. Got no clue. They don't have a stop sign. So if there's somebody coming, they're gonna honk at me in a second. Thankfully it's a rather slow downtown speed limit, so I'm not really worried about it, but still. call that every truck driver loves to get. I won the lottery. I'm sure y'all know exactly what I'm talking about. But for those of you who aren't truckers, I get to do a random drug screening. Just got the, the phone call. I use OOIDA, OIDA. For mine, uh, yeah, they were trying to get me scheduled for today, but it, it, it didn't end up working out. So I'm gonna go to my normal spot in Marshalltown, where I do do that usually, and, and I, I get my DOT physical there too. Same spot, sort of a hole in the wall situation. There, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, they're um, only work. 
Monday, Wednesday, Friday. I forgot about that. Um, so today's Tuesday, if anybody wonders. Tuesday the 4th of June. And uh, so we're gonna have to wait until tomorrow to do it, which is, they say is fine, so. It won't take very long. Like I said, they're not, not a big location. And it's just, it's just the one thing. So it's not, it should be easy to walk in, grab a cup and do it. If you know what I mean. Gotta love it. We're not in uh, Oskaloosa right now. If anybody wonders. About to get on the four lane. We're on 63. All right, guys, we made it down to Atumwa. Got a, getting off of our exit where 63 splits from the four lane. And uh, I figured I might as well stop and do a load check. Because we haven't done that yet. I think we're going to be fine. I'm sure there's something I'll tighten. Yeah, there will be. I mean, we're fine, but might as well tighten a couple of them. Just in case I do roll past said, well, these are good. Man, those are good. No s sag at all. All right. I will tighten one or two, but we're looking, we're looking golden. You can see my spot here. I got the pig trucks coming in. All right, we're good. Make sure we're not gonna get run over. And then uh, back on the road here. We got two lanes for the rest of the way, which is fine. We'll see if we, uh, ooh, I guess got a tick on it. That's exciting. They don't just brush off easy, do they? I hate ticks. Anyway, we were gonna talk about, uh, what are they called? Lo not locust. Wow. Those dumb bugs down in Missouri. What are they called? This is, wow. It's right in the tip of my tongue. Y'all know what I'm talking about. All right. Here comes another pig truck. I'm gonna check to make sure I don't have any more ticks. And then we're gonna get rolling. A little bit of rain in Kirksville, Missouri. Not a lot. Just a pop-up shower like thing. There might be more coming. But that was sort of like a pop-up shower. You mean you could see blue skies over there? Okay, the question is, like usual, is there anybody in here? Because if there is, my day is gone. And there isn't. Good, 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 good. At least, at, not this end. Take a look. Oh yeah, there's nobody here. But we're getting unloaded. It took a while for them to... Sometimes Kirksville, I don't know what it is. There's just, there are just two forklifts just chilling there, parked. Guys inside not doing much. And uh, I fin I unstrapped. Got everything done. Sat here for a few minutes, probably 10, 10, 15 minutes. Then I went inside to use the restroom. Came back out. Trailer wasn't touched. So I just went walking around. <laughs> Finally found a uh, unloader who was not doing anything. He was just chatting with a customer. Wasn't helping the customer. They were just chatting goofing around, laughing. Just, 
like, really, guys? I got you. Got people waiting for you. That's not the time for that. Anyway, it didn't matter. I didn't talk to him. I just sort of looked at him for a little while, and then I went inside. And thankfully, there was somebody in there that was able to come out and start unloading me. They sort of looked annoyed that I was there. <laughs> And sort of like, why are you asking us to unload? I don't know. It's like, why? What? I'm an inconvenience. Okay. What? It's literally your job. <laughs> <coughs> it's fine. He's getting me done quickly now. By himself. It is what it is. We'll be out of here soon. Well, relatively soon. There's, there's only one person in the yard, customer-wise. There's one. It's all right. I'm, I'm not actually mad. I just think it's funny. Oh. Let's see if you guys can take a look around. He's over here on this side. Whoop. No, he's over here. It was raining when I first got here. Just as I was pulling it, and it stopped. Let's see if this other guy helps too. He hopefully should. Well, I might have to turn around and park my trailer over there. Because there are no spots. Well, there might be no spots. I assume there's no spots because there's a trailer park there. Oh, there might be one. Yeah, there's one. Look at that. Where's the wind coming out of? I think I'm going to need to nose in. Wow, there are no lo Wow. There are two loaded trailers. These are the only two. This one? That one far down there. I asked for an Altoona. He said I don't got any. Another case of the way too many live loads. Oh, goodness. I don't know why they do that. I don't know why they do that. I do not understand. I'm going home. Oh, lost my day this morning by having to come in late. <coughs> now it's messed up more by too many live loads and not enough trailers getting loaded. That's rather lame. Rather lame. All right. Well, it's three o'clock. And I'm gonna go home. Well, we're back at the house. Uh, I have a hard time being mad at him now because he sent me over my load for tomorrow. It's not loaded yet, but it's going to be a Spencer. <laughs> so, uh, that'll be a good one for tomorrow. We'll do good tomorrow. <coughs> oh. So thankful for that. That's the, uh, Got some grain going out of co-op. Anyway, this is what I'm looking at. Two trucks have gone by me now. But, um, yeah, that's the plan for tomorrow. We won't pick that up until the morning, obviously. Um, I'm not going back in with a semi. There's, n yeah, it, it's definitely not loaded. It's not going to be loaded until well into second shift, I'm sure. Um, yeah, anyway, I had nothing else to say. <laughs> Dealt with some cicadas. I had a tick on my leg for a little while this afternoon, or this morning, rather. So that was exciting. That was when I stopped in Ottumwa. When I got back into my truck, I felt something on my leg. And, uh, sure enough, 
It was a tick. Gross. Anyway, we got it off. It hadn't bit me. <coughs> and uh, we're moving. We're moving along. Moving along. So let, let me just talk through something here. So right now, in my life, I'm sort of pushing forward towards two things. One, we're moving, so that's a big hurdle going on, obviously. Two, I'm be, I'm gone for a whole week in a, in a few weeks now. Um, it's the last full week of June. So once I get that past that point, um, hopefully we should you know be able to start making some moves on different a- avenues, whether that that be. Um, doing some stuff to the truck um, I am strongly considering figuring out everything that needs to be done in order to hire somebody to run for Menards um, I would really like to do that I think that would be a great I mean that's that's really the reason why I did this in the first place I know that myself, I'm going to be bored here if I just stay here forever. I'm going to get so bored. Y'all are getting bored, but it's for a purpose. It's for a goal. The goal is to put somebody in a truck to run for Menards. And then I will go and, you know, run for Menards some and run the spot market. I think that'll be good for, for business because I don't have to dispatch that person. It'll be good for content because I can share with you guys the growing pains of a business, a trucking company growing in a stale economy. So that'll be fun. Um, I'll probably end up buying another truck. Um, there's, I'll, I'll probably run the spot market. All these things are very interesting things, and they're coming, guys. I hope you stick with me. I have plans um, to move forward here, um, both with this old girl and growing the business in other ways. So stick around. We're trying. We're trying. We're trying to get there. And uh, I appreciate you guys' help. Something that will definitely help me is if you'd hit the subscribe button, if you're not, if you haven't yet, hit the thumbs up button. Comment down below your thoughts on moving forward with a second driver. Should I do it? Is it worth it? All those things. I want to know your opinion. And, you know, I'm not doing YouTube to get rich. But there's a part of it that, you know, getting compensated for the time... is a worthy goal <laughs> if that makes sense so the, the, the hit the I'm, I guess I'm begging right now this is terrible I shouldn't be begging but you guys know what I mean commenting subscribing and liking the video are free things that can be done that mean a huge deal to me and I would really appreciate it with that being said thanks for watching we will see you on the next one